Abbey Road Studios is arguably the most famous recording studio in the world. Its place in music history is irrefutable, and to this day, Abbey Road is still one of the world's most sought-after recording studios. The Abbey Road Keyboards Refill is the result of a unique collaboration between Propellerhead Software and Abbey Road Studios. We set out to capture the sound and soul of this renowned temple of sound and make it available for Reason users all over the world. The refill features seven unique instruments, all part of the Abbey Road heritage. They are the Mellotron M400, the Hammond RT3 organ, a Steinway upright known as the Mrs. Mills piano, the Challenge Studio piano, the Manborg harmonium, the Schiedemeyer Celeste, and the Premier Tubular Bells. We asked vintage keyboard guru Mark Vale, author of the books Vintage Synths and the Hammond Organ, to come with us to Studio 2 and have a look at some of the instruments featured in the refill. He is joined by Propellerhead Software's content manager, Christopher Wallmann, who led the sampling process. We're in Studio 2 at the Abbey Road Studios, and we're standing next to a Mellotron Mark 400. Uh, this is one of the earliest forms of sample playback. Inside this machine are quarter-inch audio tapes, magnetic uh, recording tape that has samples of things like cellos and choirs and strings. One thing that's interesting is that the tape is seven seconds long, plus the fade-out, so it's like uh, eight to nine seconds each note. And then it stops, so if you hold the key for nine seconds, uh, then the, the, the sound is dead. And then you have to re-trigger the key. And in reason now, uh, we didn't actually loop the sound, so, so you would have that intact. That you have. If you're holding a chord for the whole chorus, for example, you would have to re-trigger the notes after the second bar or something. Mm. Let's uh, take a look inside. Sure. Um, so you can see some of the uh, crazy contraption that they devised in the mid-60s for this uh, very early sample player. This is uh, the sound selector, actually, which tape you're playing, ABC, three sounds. Uh, in this case, strings, flute, and uh, cello, solo cello. This is uh, a tone control, which is uh, basically sounds like uh, a filter to me. Um, and this is um, a pitch control, which which uh, enables you to be to set the, the instruments to be in tune with with your bandmates. This is, uh, I guess, when it was manufactured by Steinway, they called it a Vertigrand, and I guess, uh, well, it's it's known as the Mrs. Mills piano. Mm -hmm. There's someone named Mrs. Mills who recorded a lot with it. I've heard you playing this, and it, it has a distinctive sound. What, what mm -hmm. makes this piano sound uh, <coughs> different from other pianos? It's um, the hammers are they have been lacquered, so it's sort of a tack sound. It's a special. They tune it in a special way. So it, to get it to sound out of tune, even though it's it's not really, but it's the three strings resonate differently, so it gets you know, separation in pitch. This is the harmonium, and uh, used. I, I've heard you playing it. It sounds rather like an accordion. And yeah, it uses air. Uh, it's an it's an acoustic instrument in that way. You don't need electricity, and. Um, each of these stops have a different sound and even a different different pitch. So these are the, the, the stops and uh, they each have a, num a number. This is the eight there is the length of the pipe. It's eight, eight feet. So it gives, gives a certain pitch. And then we have a four feet pipe. It's gi it gives a, a higher pitch. And then we have even as short as two, which is really, really bright. Huh. And they have names on them, viola. And then you can introduce. That's an eight. These are to That's hit your knees with, bang. Yeah, you have two controls for the knees. 
And the one is the volume, pretty much, uh, and the intensity of the tone. And this is uh, a convenient way to, to get a full, full ranks. It's uh, with all the stops out. This is a Hammond RT3. Um, the Hammond RT3 includes the same components that were in the most popular uh, Hammond organ, which was the B3. It has uh, spinning tone wheels, uh, 96 of them. And to hear it best, it's played through a Leslie speaker, which also has spinning components, high end and low end. There are two manuals on this type of Hammond organ. And these up here are called draw bars. There are two sets of nine draw bars for the upper and the lower manuals. And then there are two draw bars here that would be for the bass pedals if they were on there. But um, there are nine draw bars that control the, the, the frequencies that you hear in the sound. As a, player, a guy is playing this, they'll work the ham and the draw bars to change the sound. Um, one thing that's unusual about this Hammond is it has these switches here. And these, three of these four switches control the Leslie speaker. They, they switch it between slow speed and, and high speed. Slow speed is what they called a corral, and high speed is what they called the tremolo. And going between the corral and the tremolo speed is used to uh, change the emotion of the organ part. It's really very effective. You, you don't need to carry the Hammond or, and the Leslie around. You can just carry reason in your laptop. Using Propellerhead Software's hypersampling method, we have sampled the instruments at multiple velocity levels using a multitude of carefully selected microphones. But there's more. The hypersampling process goes beyond just capturing the instruments. With all the microphone signals still available in Reason's mixer, you're free to select from a number of microphones and mic placements, just like in the real studio. Think of it as getting a virtual producer's chair at the control room in Studio 2, without having to go there. The result is a collection of truly unique keyboard instruments for your Reason rack. Whether you're striving to recreate a vintage keyboard feel in your tracks, or if you're looking for something truly new and different, Abbey Road keyboards will add sparkle to your music. You probably have these instruments in your record collection already. Now you can make them part of your instrument collection too. Abbey Road Keyboards from Propellerhead Software and Abbey Road Studios.